Hey guys, it's Jen. I hope everybody's doing well. Life's treating you well. I'm trying out my new, um, the webcam on my new laptop. I haven't tried it out yet. So I thought I'd give it a shot and see if it worked or not. So if this is really bad quality, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go out and buy a new webcam. The last one that I bought that, you know, wasn't built in, the kitty decided to use it as a toy, the cord part. It wasn't plugged in, thankfully and just gnawed right through it and well we all know what happened to my last laptop anyhow um, I hope everybody's doing well um, life's treating you good um, nothing exciting going on kids are going back to school next week which is kinda cool and I'm gonna miss it when they're back at school and miss all the chaos and all the you know having two little girls run around the house <laughs> all day you know, as much as it drives me crazy, the fighting and, you know, everything else that goes on with two conflicting personalities, especially with little girls, um, I know I'm going to end up missing it when they're back at school. But, um, you know, uh, my friend Jerry Lynn on here mentioned the other day about how expensive school supplies were. So, um, and it made me think, I'm like, well, I'm going to go through and see how much we spent, you know, to get, you know, for the new school year. And this is, um, my kids go to private school, so um, they have to wear school uniforms, and we can't, like, buy, like, the shirts, that, like, the polo shirts at the store, we have to buy them through the school. And because it has, like, the school logo embroidered on it, we have to buy, like, winter coats and stuff through the school even, too, and, you know, kids grow all the time. So, um, you know, this is not like you have to buy it once, you, you know, you have to buy them every new, every new school year, because the kids are constantly growing. So we had to buy, you know, that stuff through the school. And, um, you know, of course we had to go and buy, you know, the khaki or the blue, you know, shorts, skirts, jumpers, you know, all that, you know, all the uniform type pants. Um, tennis shoes, new backpack, new lunch boxes, new trapper keeper binders. Um, then the list of stuff that we had to buy for the school. I mean, it worked out to be in like a case and a half of printer, you know, the copy paper for like the printers. Um, 20 rolls of paper towels, uh, what was it, like 10 things of hand sanitizer and antibacterial soap. It was just all this stuff. So anyhow, she mentioned it the other day. I decided I'm going to go through and tally up my receipts because I've been buying a little bit at a time and see how much we spent. It was $476.82 we spent total to start the new school year off. That doesn't include the um, annual physical. That didn't include, you know, going to the dentist. I didn't include that stuff because that's stuff that we would have to buy any or do anyhow for the kids, you know. You have to go to the dentist and get checkups anyhow. So I didn't even include that. Um, that was like another 200 bucks. But I couldn't believe how much starting off the school year was. And um, that was just insane. And, you know... They're getting a good education, and I'm grateful for that. Um, it's very – the school they go to, it's very customized. My oldest um, is dyslexic and um, has a couple, you know, little hurdles of her own. So she needs, you know, the, the a customized learning thing, especially because of the dyslexia. And um, thankfully, the you know, they provide the tutoring and the one-on-one, -on -one and they, they're fantastic. And my youngest has a genius IQ and is brilliant and is so far ahead of, you know, the class. Um, but so, you know, she also um, can stay with her friends but has a customized learning thing, so she's not being held back. So I'm very grateful for that. I love the school. I like the um, principal. The owners, are, they're fantastic, wonderful, wonderful Christian people, and I love them. They have been so good. They're, they're just phenomenal people. But the way I see it is we're paying X amount in tuition every month, and we have two kids there. So, I mean, I just, I was really surprised how many things that they had us as parents buying when we're already paying, you know, the tuition and things like that. I I don't know. Maybe I'm being nitpicky, but it kind of, it pissed me off a little bit. But I guess it's a small trade because my kids are getting what they need, and, um, they're doing good, so what are you going to do? But, yeah, I couldn't believe it. It was almost $500 to start the school year off. It was just crazy, insane. 
I can't believe how expensive everything is nowadays. I mean, I went to the supermarket the other day. I went to Publix. That's the uh, supermarket chain we have down here. And a, a pound of Oscar Mayer bacon, not like good bacon even, not even, you know, like from like the butcher bacon, just Oscar Mayer regular bacon was eight ninety nine for one package, for one pound of bacon. Eight ninety nine. A loaf of bread, three seventy nine. A dozen eggs, what was it, like two thirty nine or two forty nine, something like that. Even a box of Cheerios is like five bucks. I mean, everything's just so expensive. You know, because with inflation and the economy being how it's been, you know, the dollar's you know, basically worthless, and then, you know, you have to factor in, you know, the transportation cost of, you know, moving the goods, and, um, you know, the truck drivers, I mean, with the cost of um, gas and everything, it's just, I, I couldn't believe it. A pound of Oscar Mayer bacon. It was funny, I ended up turning around and going to the meat market because it was actually cheaper there. Actually, I can go to the fresh market and get a pound of bacon there from the butcher, like fresh cut bacon for like, what was it, four four twenty nine? So, yeah. Anyhow, I just couldn't believe that. It's insane. Everything is just so expensive. But um, another thing I wanted to bring up, um, you know, everybody's got their own opinion on the chemtrails, whether they're contrails or whether, you know, there's poisons being put out into the air whatever the case may be, and, um, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I personally think it's happening. I see it happening. I, I've done a couple of small videos on it. You know, they actually do patterns in the air. I'll actually watch these things, and they're not flying in a normal pattern. Um, but anyhow, um, some people have been talking about the effects, you know, how the, they can tell when they're spraying and how it's having an effect on their health. And, um, the other day, it just so happened, it was so funny, it was right after I, I watched a video on it, um, we had a sun shower, and it's been so hot. I mean, the heat index with the humidity, the feel like temperatures have been between 100 and 100 and, like, 8, um, since probably, oh, actually, all summer it's been like that. It's just been ungodly hot. And so, of course, naturally, there we had a sun shower. And, you know, the kids are like, oh, mommy, 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 please, can we go out and run out in the rain? And, of course, you know, the kid doesn't want to run out in the rain. It's fun. There's a sun shower. There's no thunder or lightning or anything. So I'm going to go for it. Go have fun. That's what you're supposed to do. So they're running around in the backyard. They're having the time of their lives. thinking it's so neat. And, you know, the grass was getting really wet. So they were slipping and sliding on the grass, getting all dirty. And, you know, and they were just having so much fun. And, um, afterwards, I'm like, all right, you know, the sun, you know, we didn't last long, obviously, sun showers never do. And I'm like, all right, let's get inside, get you guys cleaned up. Both of my girls immediately, as soon as they came onto the back patio, they were scratching. It was like, mommy, I mean, their skin was actually burning and they weren't rolling around in the grass. When I said they were slipping aside, they were just like on their feet. They would just go, you know, they run and let their feet slide across the wet grass and, it, but this was on their arm. It was everywhere. Their faces, their necks, their chest, their backs, their arms, their legs. They were so itchy and didn't have a mosquito bite on them. Nothing like that. But they were so itchy. And I haven't changed our fabric softeners or laundry detergents, nothing like that. I mean, I've used Tide and Downy, you know, my entire adult life. My mom used it before that. But so my kids have always, you know, it's not like I changed anything of what we do. But it was the rain on them. It actually started scratching and like almost burning their skin. And I mean, it was to the point, I mean, they were, it was, it was so irritating for them. And they were both upset about it. My youngest is like, mommy, I can't stand it. And I couldn't get them inside the house fast enough to get them into the shower to, to just rinse off their skin. It affected them so badly. And I had noticed, you know, early in the, it seems like they spray every single day. Um. You can see it when it's happening, and um, you can see how, you know, they show up and, you know, slowly expand and, you know, slowly dissipate, and, um, 
but it was so funny, even after they showered, they were still complaining about it. And um, I just wonder, I wonder if that has anything to do with the chemtrails. I wonder, you know, if that's one of the effects. I wonder if it's the chemicals they're spraying in, then with the rain bringing it down, that it actually, you know, could cause that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Just throwing it out there. Just something to think about. Um, so, anyhow. I just really wanted to try out the new webcam and see if it worked. <laughs> see how, you know, if it actually works better than my old one. Or the old one that was built into my laptop. Not the new one that I got. That you attach to it. But I hope everybody's doing well. And life is treating you well. And I hope you guys are doing great. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.